you ever get this annoying air from QuickBooks? Well, today I'm going to try and show you how to fix it. So we'll click through all these little dialog boxes that keep popping up. So annoying. We'll jump over here and check for updates. That's the first thing they recommend. I have seen this fix it a couple of times. I'm pretty sure my computer is up to date, but we're going to check it anyways. All we're getting is a definition update for the antivirus. I'm pretty sure that's not going to fix our problem, but we'll be sure and double check. Just move this over here real quick. Once it completely finishes the process, we'll click on that button again, see what happens. There it is. Was pretty sure that was gonna happen. So we're gonna move on to the next step here. And it starts by opening up a file explorer, heading over to where your QuickBooks is installed. In this case, it should be in, I'm sorry, not where your QuickBooks is installed. Heading over to program data. Actually, I clicked it twice. It's still trying to open. Inside of program data, you'll find Intuit. And inside of there, you'll find entitlement cli uh, client V8. And the file that we're looking for specifically is this one right here. But before we do anything with that file, we're going to go ahead and make sure QuickBooks is absolutely not running. To do that, we'll open our task manager. I simply right clicked on the taskbar down here and went to task manager. You could also try control alt delete and open up the security dialog and select select task manager from there, or you can press control shift escape. All of those will get you to the same place. We're going to sort by name, and then we're going to look for any QuickBooks processes. So anything that says QuickBooks, such as this, or anything else that looks like QuickBooks related. I'm going to go ahead and end the task. And this one as well. I'm going to close the task manager and delete this file. Now this should have fixed the problem, but we're going to go ahead and try it out. It seems to be taking quite a long time to start up. And this is not typical for my computer, so there it is. I was going to look in the task manager to see if something was happening. But there you go, deleting that file fixed our problem and we should be able to uh, go from here on out. I'm going to finish by reactivating my current install, which is a really easy process. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like the video if it helped you out.